Welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. Before you can start building an Oracle Math application, there are a few things you need to do to set up the environment. In this video, we'll step through setting up the development environment so you can start building your very first Math application. So what do you need to do to get started? Well, there are really only two setup tasks you need to perform before you can get started developing. The first is to install the math design time into the IDE you will be using. Now, I'm going to focus on Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse, or OPI, in this video. But if you want to follow specific instructions for setting up JDeveloper, you can check out other videos on this channel. I'm using OPI 12.1.3.1, which has support for math design time. Installing OPI is easy. The all-in-one zip includes Eclipse and OPI with math support. Just extract the zip to a local folder and you're done. If you want to use your existing install of Eclipse, you can use the Eclipse Update Manager to install OPI with math support. You can see the documentation for further details. The next step you have to follow is to install the appropriate SDK. Now what is an SDK? Well, when you develop a math application, remember that it is deployed as a native application to either Android or iOS platform. For each of those platforms, you need the native libraries and tools from Google or Apple in order to build that native application. One point just to clarify in case you didn't know. Because of the legal restrictions from Apple, you can only develop iOS application on Macs, since the iOS SDK can only be installed on a Mac. So you have to go and find the appropriate SDK. One thing to be clear on here is the exact version of the SDK you should install may be different with different versions of Oracle Math, so always go back and look at the documentation to check the minimum version. You can use Google Search to find the SDK, or the SDK can be found at developer.android.com. Go to that site, click the Download SDK, Click on the Agree box if you agree with the terms and conditions, select either 32 or 64-bit, and click Download the SDK. After it's downloaded, unzip it into the directory of your choice. Using Windows Explorer, find the directory you use for the SDK. Double-click sdkmanager.exe to open the manager. Select Android SDK Build Tools 19.1 and install the package. Having installed the appropriate SDK, you have to tell the IDE where it has been installed. In OP on Windows, you go to Windows, Preferences menu. Here you'll be presented with the Preferences dialog. Select the Mobile Application Framework and then choose your platform. I'm setting up for Android. Pick the Mobile SDK and specify the location of the installed SDK. The system derives the location of the platform and the build tools. If you're developing for iOS, you go to Eclipse, Preferences in the menu, and in the Preferences dialog, define the location of the iOS simulator, your Xcode directory, and your iTunes location. Now, when it comes to testing your math application, you really have three options. You can deploy to a platform-specific file, so for Android that would be a .apk file, an Android package. And for iOS, it's a .ipa file, which is an iOS package archive. You can also deploy directly to a device attached to your development machine, or you can use a software emulator or simulator on your development machine. For iOS, if you follow the steps up to now, your iPhone and iPad simulator should be set up. For Android, we have to perform a few more steps. Again, I recommend that you follow the steps in the official documentation. However, I'll briefly outline the steps here. Because you've installed the Android SDK, then you've already installed the Android emulator, since it's part of the SDK. But you still have to configure what devices you want emulated. First, launch the Android SDK Manager. One way of doing this is to open a command window, navigate to the directory where you installed the Android SDK, go to the SDK tools directory and run the android.bat file. This opens the SDK manager, which allows you to manage and update the various elements of your Android SDK installation. 
At the time of this recording, the performance of Android emulators is less than ideal. To improve performance, we recommend you install Intel's Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager, or HAXM. This will greatly improve the performance of the emulator. You install HAXM from the SDK Manager. Once it is installed, navigate to the install directory and double-click Intel HAXM.exe to run it. Again, you can refer to the documentation for all the steps you need to install and run HAXM. The last step is to configure the various types of Android devices you want to emulate. Going back to the Android SDK Manager, go to the menu and select Tools, Manage AVDs, Android Virtual Devices. This is where you define the characteristics of each device you want to test against. You select the specific type of device you want to use and the target Android platform. Make sure you select Intel Atom x86 as a CPU ABI, as this will ensure you will be using the HAXM optimized drivers for the emulator. If all has gone well, you can start your Android emulator and you're ready to start developing. So in this episode, you've configured and set up your environment, and now you're ready to start developing your first math application. Thanks for watching this video, and look for the next one in this series.